Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix, and today on Neutralix, I'm telling you the 10 best legends for Brawlhalla 2024 winter, I guess end of 2023. Uh, let's get right into this. With number 10, we're gonna be playing some experimental. I'm gonna be talking about the reasons why the character is good, gonna be playing some gameplay, and then we'll go to the next character. Also, if you wanna improve at Brawlhalla, subscribe to Neutralix. This channel is made to help you improve at Brawlhalla. So subscribe for more and check out teamneutralix.com if you want some personal coaching from me or any of the coaches here at Neutralix. Let's get right into this. Let's play some experimental. I'm gonna clap my hand and we're gonna get into the first match with number 10. Three, two, one. So number 10 on this list is Red Raptor. This character is not really being played at a top level right now. Um, there are a couple players, like there's Raidish. I know Hardy is on Red Raptor, or at least was. Um, but this character kind of has it all. Good for ones and twos. Super solid SIG kit in general. Pretty solid stats. The weapon combination is really solid. Both weapons have kill confirms. You kind of think of like characters with holes and a lot of characters on this top 10 list, they have no holes. And what I mean by holes is stuff that they struggle with. So usually characters that have really light attack weapons, maybe they struggle with building up damage while well, both orb and boots have really good combos. Oh, I'm dead here. Okay, let's not lose this match. Um, but Red Raptor, like maybe it doesn't build up damage the same as Lance, but it can kill, you can win neutral. You have options for every situation that are extremely solid, like uh, Orb and Light hits behind stack. That's like really good. Um, also, I apologize, this game is fairly laggy, first game on. Um, I'm also not at my setup right now. Uh, away, you know, it, it is currently Christmas. Oh, I tried hitting something there. But um, yeah, it's just gonna be, and further on this list, every character is just absolutely broken with no problems. Um, that's like a, a thing about being the top 10 characters in Brawlhalla. And yeah, Red Raptor's signatures are just insane. The side sig has unreal range. The end sig is insane. Um, just sigs are good for every situation. Not really a bad signature on their kits. Um, basically for every character in this list, there's not that many bad signatures. Oh, that hit. That's crazy. Um, but that's kind of all I got to say about Red Raptor. Let's win this game. Oh my god, I'm just getting beat by uh, guitars there. Let's actually not lose. This game is laggy. I'm going to restart my game after. I don't know if you guys can see, but it feels like 40 FPS. Okay, I hit. I can't even tell him we're in boots. It's crazy. Okay. That was that option. I usually don't lose experimental games. That's so sad. I did more damage too. That's so sad. Whatever. Oh my god, we got a BCX final as 2021. That's funny. Getting nutters in the ranked queue today. Or in the experimental queue even. That's crazy. But yeah, number nine on this list, we got Wu Shang, Shang Li, whatever you want to call him or her. Uh, this character, same thing, kind of has it all. These SIGs are particularly insane. And also this top 10 list is primarily 1v1, but there is some twos in mind. What is this person doing? It is experimental, dude. Um, definitely fought this person in rank before, but they're BCX finalists. But um, yeah, like Chun Li just kind of has it all. Won a tournament. Dreamhack Valencia. Shout out to Godly. What a goat. Um, but yeah, this character is just super solid. Um, really well rounded stats. Kind of like, you know, four, five or six on absolutely everything. So, really insane stuff. But uh, also insane signatures. Like that neutral sig is kind of 
insane that killed. The side zig's insane. The down zig's kind of mid on spear. Um, gauntlet side zig's insane. Gauntlet end zig is insane. Gauntlet down zig is like insane. <laughs> Just like a lot of good options. You have also kill confirms on both weapons. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing character. And one of, if not the best twos character on the list. That pro Tied for the best twos character on the list, probably. This character is everywhere in twos. Shout out to Meg D for being the GOAT with Wushong in twos, at least last year. Okay, that hit me. Thank, thank you, Zoki. Go up. Aw, oh, that wasn't cool. Spirit ground bound. What are you doing? This person's a long way from being a BCX finalist again. No offense, Lucky. But you can't lose my Wushog, bud. I just lost on Red Raptor. Oh, why am I being toxic in a top 10 video? That is my bad. Sorry, guys. Go low. Thanks. No dodge. I did not think that would hit. I didn't think that would hit either. That was really dumb of me. Okay. I don't really have options. Okay, <laughs> I might get what I deserve now. Let's see. Watch. Just gonna waste the dodge there. My game is running a lot smoother. I don't have a problem with that anymore. I closed this score in the background, so that might have had something to do with it. GG's, GG's. Okay, number eight on this list, we got Orion. This is the only Lance character on this list, although I think Vector is a pretty good legend, and I think Scarlet is actually really Three, underrated. Two, I think uh, Algrim's obviously a really good legend as well. I think Orion is just too well-rounded um, to, uh, to not be on this list, and again, kind of doesn't have any holes. The only hole I can think of is kind of Lance is weird. I don't think Lance is that good in ones, to be honest. I think it's kind of bad in ones, to be honest. But um, I, I think Orion is just so well-rounded that it just kind of doesn't matter. Got nowhere to go there. No. Uh, the Sigs also are like really insane. They work really well with Orion. I'm like getting beat on. Go low. I have some tip. But yeah, Orion Sigs just work impeccably well together, especially the Lance Sigs. The Down Sig has a good amount of range for baiting with, but. More particularly, the end sig covers a huge hole on Lance. That diagonal hitbox is just really massive. Yeah, this guy's like really trying for experimental eye. I can't lose this or my ego's on the line. But the spear sigs are insane. You have kill confirms. The down sig covers a good um, dead zone on spear. So that's pretty solid. Oh, I almost worked there. I am getting pieced up right now. There we go. And yeah, the stats are amazing. Orion's stats are particularly good with Lance because you can actually get Delight and Light down to one frame with only six decks. Um, and Orion's just got very balanced stats, so that's really solid. I meant to nair that. Good at it. And Orion's a very easy character as well. Not that many combos you need to know. It's a lot more of like neutral engagements than it is anything else. Like I'm not doing anything too crazy on Lance right now. They're just kind of piecing me up in neutral with guitars. Guitars are insane right now. That's uh, not good thing. That there works. Come on, go in. away. It was a bait the whole time. <laughs> Jeez. Player one 
and that's Orion on this list. That is number number eight. Number seven, also honorary mentioned seven, would not be at seven on the list. Seven currently would be number one on this list. I think that character is broken, <laughs> and that's who we're playing against. But the real number seven Three, on this two, list is one, Loki. Um, also, the reason why seven as a character is not on this list is because they haven't gone through a balance patch yet, so... They'll be on the spring list, probably. Maybe I'll make a separate video if they're the best legend in Brahalla at the time. But let's talk about Loki. And why is Loki number seven? We've been talking about holes so much. And there's a big hole on Loki. Both Scythe and Katars, they don't have kill confirms. Um, so what makes up for that? Some of the best signatures in the game. Like that Katar side sig is the best Katar sig probably in the game. Um, the Katar down sig has a ton of range. Super good bait as well. The end sig is massive. The scythe sigs are incredible, as you just saw there. Um, everything just works really well together. Even like scythe end sig is really solid. And I think you can like combo it too. It's just everything about this character is just super solid. Uh, you could just be spamming sigs. You have high dex. I don't love high dex as a stat. Like Loki's stat points aren't like that well rounded, but you can you can round them out. You can do some stuff to like make them more well rounded. And you just have, like, with the signatures, so many ways to kill because of how broken these signatures truly are. Like, he's an amazing character. You can just absolutely match with both Scythe and Katars are really good weapons right now, in my opinion. Especially, I think Katars are insanely underrated. Um, just an amazing weapon. Uh, like, I, I think Katars are top two in the game. I don't know what this 7 is doing. I just missed the Chugambo. I don't want to talk about. I'm like missing two combos. I think I have to use the active input. I think it's down. I don't really use Loki to be honest. I know that the active input exists. I just don't use Loki and miss the true combo. And yeah, you can just sig spam honestly. It just works. You have no recovery frame or. Yeah, you have no recovery frames. Like, you, I was able to just dodge that. My sig is just better than yours there. <laughs> it's just a better side sig. Just an incredible character. We'll play Scythe here. And Scythe in general is just really strong as a weapon. Go I? Aw, went low. You're missing down lights there, buddy. No! 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 Why is he taunting? Victory! Okay. Player two wins. We got Zelki again. That's hilarious. But number six on this list is Caspian. Not many pros are playing Caspian right now for some reason, but Caspian is still an insane character. Again, we talk about holes as always. This character, Gauntlets, okay, you can kill with Gauntlets. They got some kill confirms. Katars don't have kill confirms, so to make up for that, you have insane signatures. Just insanely fast sigs, string heavy character. It's not hard killing on Caspian because of just how good the signatures truly are. And that was weird to death, kind of. But uh, yeah, this side sig's amazing, and sig is kind of solid, down sig's pretty solid. They're not like Loki signatures, like don't get me wrong, but you have better stats than Loki, very well-rounded. Caspian does a lot of damage too, um, surprisingly, I feel. And you just have tons of strings to work with. Super well-rounded character, really fast weapons that are easy and good for winning neutral. Um, I love guitars right now. I think Dauntlets are also in a good spot, in my opinion. What is Zelki doing? Is he like lagging or something? What are you doing? There's no way you're trying to stall an experimental. There's no way you're trying to stall an experimental. If you're stalling against me in experimental, I'm gonna say get a life. If you're lagging, I recommend taunting. 
This person needs a life. Dude, you need a life. There's there's no way. You need a life, self. What are you doing? You went from BCX finalist to trying to stall me out and it's okay. So dumb. At least now he's fighting. I shouldn't have wasted dodge. Now they're trying. Let's see what happens. I'll try a little bit. What are you doing? What are you doing? Number five on this list, we got Taros. You know, kind of just got second with Taros. Taros has been at the top for years and years now. Um, since Luna proved that Taros is kind of broken in ones, um, we've seen Taros after Taros after Taros, not even just Luna. This character will always be hard to fight against. This character will always be good, in my opinion. Um, uh, that's all I can say. Uh, insane Sigs, you know, easy killing. Maybe you'll have a hard time winning neutral with like a, some slower weapons. Like, I wouldn't call hammer slow, but more dead zones. Axe is actually slow. But, um, no, it's not gonna hit. But, yeah, Taros is just, I don't know, it's impossible not to recommend Taros. Especially after the success kind I just had with Taros. And obviously, it's more Kaina than Taros at this point, but anybody winning with a, a legend, I'm gonna have to recommend that legend. It's just how the world works. If someone is finding success on one character, I gotta put them high on this list because this character, you know, is solid then. It's just proof that this character is solid and that if you main Taros and you're losing, it's because you're bad, not because the character's bad. And I think that way for everything, like obviously if you're losing, it's your own fault. But it's always nice knowing that like you're not trying to be the first one to do something ever, right? Someone can lead that, follow, like, you know, pave a path for you. All you gotta do is follow them and get better than them. Um, and that, you know, it's just a bit easier sometimes than doing it the other way around. And that's why you might be watching this list. And that's why I try and make this list as accurate as possible. And Taros is just beyond broken, always, and forever will be. So actually, you can just cheese with Taros really, really easily. Like, with the Taros side sig, you have a lot of options. This person's playing pretty well against me, let's see what happens. <laughs> Those are some nice baits. I'm like playing brutally. Christmas. Love gadgets. I don't know what that side sig was. Good way to engage. <laughs> I definitely gotta use that more. Like that is such a good side sig. I'll use some more axe. to be a downer. No, I went the wrong way. GG's. I played that poorly. Stay hydrated, gamers. GG's. Number four on this list, we got Jayin. And just like Taros, you know, Taros is ranked, they play second at BCX with Kaina. Guess who won BCX? It was Jayin and it was Yuz. And there's no other Jayin players. So that's kind of why Jayin isn't number one on this list. If nobody else is playing the thing that you won on, like, there's still some Taros players, but. Jayin is just unique. It, you know, Hardy thinks Jayin's too hard. He doesn't think Greatsword's good. He just thinks uses the GOAT. And that might be the case. We're gonna find out over time. Um, but for now, Jayin, I gotta recommend. Like, you know, if you win a world championship with something, I cannot not recommend that thing. 
It's insane that I'm not even putting this one on the list, even though it's just like one at all. Uh, there's just some other uh, characters that are kind of at the top right now, where there's just more representation at the top. That's more obvious that the character is like broken than it is anything else. But it was kind of the same thing with Impala, and you'll obviously we haven't talked about Kaya yet. Kaya is on this list, spoiler alert. But same thing with Impala. Impala won when no one really thought Kaya was that insane, but then over time there are more and more Kaya players, more and more Kaya players, until there's a lot today. Um, and I think it's gonna be the same thing with Jayin. I think people won't realize it's broken until it's actually like, oh, this is like kind of broken. I'm not trying to discredit Yuuz's win at all. Yuuz is the GOAT right now. Maybe not GOAT ever, but the GOAT right now for sure. <laughs> um, uh, but the point I'm trying to make is I, I, I have to recommend the character that just won a tournament. There, there's no way I'm putting this character outside of the top five. And that's why Jayin's on this. Kind of doesn't have many holes. Greatsword is an insane weapon that you use, use primarily to win uh, BCX. Use Greatsword more than any other weapon is really insane. Quite remarkable. Um, only player to be doing that really successfully. The next best Greatsword player at BCX was probably Hardy. He played Greatsword in doubles. I don't know about singles. And then probably Scound, who uh, I beat. <laughs> Scound's a pretty good player too. But uh, yeah, it's just super interesting. JN's got some insane sigs. Um, Greatsword is probably the best aerial kit in the game. The aerials on Greatsword are like just insane, especially for baiting and everything. Tons and tons of drift. I don't know what I just did on Greatsword. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing the downlight finisher. You also have three hit through combos on Greatsword, but they do they do drop. So yeah, like that can be three hit, but it it, it just drops. Like I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just like spamming. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go right on top of this Artemis. I'm gonna ground pound it. Watch this, guys. Watch this. I got what I deserved. Let's not lose this to, uh, to men, menum. Side sig me, side sig me, side sig me, side sig me, side sig me. GG's. Number three on this list, we got Barrage. I will say, I don't think Barrage is going to stay top three long term, but based on obviously Sandstorm destroyed everyone with Mirage. Um, and there's definitely an argument that Mirage should be lower than JN and Taros on this list. My own personal bias is probably showing here. I think Spear is kind of insane, as you can see what I just did there. Um, I think Scythe is really good right now. I think Mirage fits perfectly. I feel like the character has less holes than both Taros and JN. So that's kind of why I put Mirage above them. You can call it a personal bias, it is what it is. But I think Spear is just an insane weapon. And I think Mirage is such a well-rounded character. Insane Sigs as well for killing, have stacked options. Um, good covers dead zones, like just, you know, really, really awesome character. And you've been seeing some success with Sandstorm, really just Sandstorm on this character, so I gotta give respect to him, of course. But um, yeah, I, that's why I put Mirage. Either way, Mirage should be in the top five of everyone's list right now. Even if people aren't playing her other than Sandstorm was before, this character is just, you know, again, has it all insane sigs, good stats. Basically Scarlet stats, kind of like insane actually. Um, Scarlet, but you know, with Spear in sight. That's pretty insane. Where is this guy going? Oh, no. uh, I'm dead. I don't know why I went for that. Probably say like GC side sig. Mr. Airbag. Okay. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's not dodging. Okay. I guess this is a plot player. Okay, this plot player is insane. What can I say? <laughs> I had like two bad decisions, it's fine. I'm gonna throw the spike ball at him. 
I'll make sure not to do those bad decisions again. Oh, that almost worked. Okay, number two on this list, and this character also has Scarlet stats. As you can see, they're eight attack and has five speed, five defense. That's ridiculous. Three, two, we got Tezka. One. That's better stats than Scarlet at the end of the day with the stance. Um, Tezka, you know, very light weapons, but insane signatures. Both weapons have kill confirms. Insane at ones and twos. Multiple people playing this character and finding success in both game modes. Sandstorm found the most success in ones, but there have been a lot of people playing Tezka over time. Uh, there's just no way I don't put this character like up, up, up on the list. Uh, the only reason it wouldn't be higher is that there's not two people in top eight and ones on Tezka. Um, especially this other character that we've talked about in the video. You can kind of anticipate up until now who's number one, but we'll be playing another game with her after this. But uh, yeah, Tezuka just has absolutely everything. I can't say a single thing bad about Tezuka. And they had to nerf him two times. Already big nerfs, and they did nothing. This character is still st absolutely broken, in my opinion. And I, I still think a problem in this game. Really cool character, really, you know, cool concept, cool options, but uh, a, a problem at the end of the day, in my opinion. I, I, I don't know, some people think gauntlets are kind of mid in ones. I think they're still really good in ones. Um, in twos, they're still insane, but uh, boots are insane in ones. And I think the both the weapons to combine are just like insane. Boots, yeah, they also got that kill confirmed D-Light recovery now. Absolutely really easy to kill on Boots now, in my opinion. And you have amazing combo roots. Uh, I could have gotten a dodge right there if I'm like reading properly and more focused. It's just an insane character. And you've seen like, with, as you optimize Boots, like you've seen Sandstorm's combo roots, just like insane stuff. When like optimized properly, Tezka's like potential is just like out of this world. Yeah. He's gone low, so I went to the GC side and said, GG's. Number one and still the greatest legend in Brawlhalla is Kaya. This character is winning ones tournaments. This character is winning twos tournaments. There's multiple people internationally playing Kaya in ones and seeing tremendous success, both Impala and Lorez. Obviously, it's more the player than the character, but at the end of the day, you cannot look away if two people in top eight of like basically every LAN are playing the same character. I'm sorry, but it, it's a problem waiting to happen. If it can happen at two, then all it takes is a third good player. And you just got to mix up these metas over time, right? You can't have the same characters representing the game over and over again. And Kaya has been so dominant throughout the history of Brawlhalla. And again, zero holes, insane stats, kill confirms on both weapons from light attacks. Insane, you know, sigs as well. Like, just kind of has it all. I should have recovered there, would have died. Please. You just get tons of options. That's a good stacked option. Side six is a good horizontal option. And six is a vertical option. Both weapons have six signatures, which you can't even say about every character on this list. There's some characters on this list that, you know, have some useless signatures or like pretty bad ones. But Kaya's are just like impeccable. This character is insane and has been insane for a long, long time now. I do think seven is also insane. Um, so honorary mention the seven on the, on this list. Uh, I would start maining seven now because I think that character is like also just like the best in Brawlhalla. It, it reminds me of like another Kaya. And save. Wow, that didn't kill. It's like surprising. Peace. That ends. He gets insane. 
One of the, the side zig's insane. The down zig's insane. Everything on Kaya is insane. Except I died there. <laughs> what a legend. And yeah, I feel the same way about Seven. Just like insane character again. If you enjoyed this list, if you agree, disagree, let me know down below. Would really appreciate your thoughts. I just saved this person. Now I'm not dead. This person. Okay. No, come off. Aww. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Who do you main in Brahalla? Why do you think they should be on this list? Let me know down below. If you want some personal coaching, check out teammutualix.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.